Good afternoon. We are here on the beach outside the heathen city of Nineveh to interview the prophet Jonah, who was given the assignment by God to go to this wicked city of 120,000 to preach to them about their wickedness. At first, he refused. Then he was eaten by a big fish, changed his mind, and went to Nineveh to warn the people. So here he is. Welcome, Jonah. Thank you. Thank you. So, Jonah, what do you think you learned from this experience? Well, I'd say the most important thing to remember is that uh, one can apparently not run from what God is asking him to do. Uh, for instance, when I, I, I never wanted to warn the people of Nineveh because I believe that they are evil people and they deserve to be punished. That's why when God asked me to go preach to them, I ran in the opposite direction. I went on a boat to, to Tarshish. Well, that's a good lesson to learn. What else? Well, I, I, I say that I, I, I used to believe that God just enjoyed punishing bad people, as he did in other portions of the, of the Bible, such as Sodom and Gomorrah and Jericho. Well, maybe God is more compassionate than you realize, and he wanted you to be his messenger. Isn't that possible? That's possible. I, I, I would say that, that God is apparently merciful. Uh, I eventually did go to Nineveh and went to the people and proclaimed loudly, in 40 days, Nineveh will be overturned. And to my surprise, the king of Nineveh heard this and, and uh, commanded all of his people to turn from their ways, to repent of their sins and evil ways and all the violence. Okay, and, and they did, didn't they? Uh, they certainly did. I, um, I, uh, God had seen that they had changed their ways and decided to have compassion on them, apparently. And I, uh, I was angry, but God explained to me that he had mercy on the 120,000 people who couldn't tell their right hand from their left. And he decided to spare them. Jonah, then this is a good thing. The people repented. They were saved. God reaches out to all people, not just Israelites. Salvation comes from God. God wants justice, but he is also merciful. You know, Jonah, I don't think you've accepted God's position. You said at the end of your story, you grieved so much you wanted to die. I, yes, I, I, I did say that. Well, as the reader of the Bible myself, I feel that an important message to recognize here is the main attribute of God is mercy. It's said in Daniel chapter 9, verse 9, to the Lord God belong mercy and forgiveness, for we rebelled against him. That's a good point, Miss Sedgway. God is a God of mercy and forgiveness, not punishment, not damnation. Well, I, I actually agree with that. Uh, when I was in the belly of that big fish, I, uh, well, one of the things I said was, those who cling to worthless idols will forfeit the grace that could be theirs. <laughs> and it was after that that God had the giant fish vomit me out into this dry land. <laughs> oh, jo Jonah, um, you also said a puzzling remark. <laughs> you also said a puzzling remark at the end of chapter 4, uh, which was that you were, you were so grieved about that plant that died that you wanted to die rather than live. Well, yes, I suppose I did say that. Okay. Then should our viewers conclude that you do not have the proper respect for the creator of the heavens and the earth, or, or what? Well, I'd say it is an or what. Okay. <laughs> it, it would seem that God does forgive even bad people when they are sorry for their sins. Uh, even a heathen city like Nineveh. I, on the other hand, would not. When God forgave them, I was angry. I told God this. Miss Bluewater, I think you should let your viewers, your audience, decide whether they think that Nineveh should have been forgiven. Okay, well, I thank you for your opinion. <laughs> this is Pamela Bluewater for J&S Biblical Productions asking, so what do you think now about the prophet Jonah? Good afternoon.